Today I want to talk a little bit about digital infrared photography. Uh, I bought a filter a couple years ago, I kind of forgot that I had it, and I just rediscovered it this past weekend, and I decided to go out and try and take some pictures with a Hoya 58mm infrared R72 filter. Unfortunately, when I bought this, I didn't really know that much, so it's rather tiny. It's 58 millimeters. All of my lenses are 2.877 millimeter front elements, so the only one it would really fit on was my 50 millimeter. So it's not ideal for landscapes, but uh, what the heck? It was worth going out for an experiment to see what I could do. Uh, I took the Sony Alpha A77, which is somewhat sensitive to infrared. So I went down to the park, and unfortunately it was a super windy day, and so all the trees were waving, which made all the trees blurry because when you're shooting infrared, at least with a filter, uh, filter and a non-modified camera, we're dealing with really long shutter speeds. I was typically at f2, f2.2, and between 3 and 10 second exposures, broad daylight, middle of the day, on a tripod, and because of that and the wind, all the trees are moving. Also, I don't think this filter is extraordinarily sharp, or I'm totally missing something. If you guys have any advice on how to do this any better, let me know. I'm considering buying a big 77mm uh, infrared filter. Is R72 or 720mm wavelength, is that the right wavelength, or should I go up to 800? Well, it's not millimeter, it's nanometer, it's the wavelength of the infrared. What's better? I don't really know the difference, it's kind of hard to figure it out. Some people talk about false color when it's the wavelength isn't as high, so I'm not really that sure. Also, post-processing. I'll show you a couple of pictures I took, they're not great, they're not with my landscape lens, and they're on a windy day, and my very first experiment. So if you have any advice on how to post-process infrared images, Give me some links or some comments. Or what I was fiddling with it in Photoshop and Lightroom, white balance, attempting kind of a false color thing. There's a color channel tweak you can do, but it's strange. These aren't black and white. They're not color. It's a totally new animal, so I'm just trying to figure it out. So let me know if you found any good resources on how to actually process these things. I did find one advantage with shooting the A77 and an infrared filter. Typically when you screw one of these things on the front element, you're in the dark. With an optical viewfinder, you can't see squat. It's basically pitch black. Um, A77, because it's an uh, electronic viewfinder, it basically up the sensitivity, up the ISO all the way. So I could still, I could make out outlines of what I was about to take a picture of. So I could do a little bit of framing. It wasn't great, and if it was dark at all, it became really difficult, but it was kind of an advantage. I could see a little bit of what I was doing. So that was kind of cool. So now I'll go quickly show you three shots that turned out kind of okay from this weekend. So check them out and give me some feedback. So here were a couple of the images that I took this weekend. Um, this one turned out kind of cool. So straight from the camera the infrared image looks like this. Um, I did some post-processing just here in Lightroom. Basically adjusted white balance, well, on a bunch of things, and switch it to black and white. And you can kind of, you get the effect where plants turn white, water gets dark. Um, long exposure, this one was only two and a half seconds, but my ISO was relatively high. And people kept walking in between, so that's why there's blurry people here. Next image that I took was kind of interesting. Um, again, trees are all blurry, but it was kind of cool. There's a path going through here. So I put this image into Photoshop and I attempted to do the false color uh, color channel tweak and that's what I came up with. It turned out pretty cool. Let me show you exactly how I did that. So in Photoshop there's basically a color channel adjustment layer and effectively you switch the red and blue channel Typically, the red channel is 100% here and 0% there. You switch that, and then you go to the red channel, and or the blue channel, and typically this is 0 and that's 100. I tweaked them to kind of adjust to the way I, I liked it, and then I re-imported 
back into Lightroom and bump the exposure and contrast just to give it a little bit more punch. I mean, it's a little noisy. I was shooting at 640 ISO and plants are kind of blurry, but still it's turned out kind of cool. Uh, next image, um, trees turned white again. This is straight from the camera and false color. I didn't really like this one, but it's kind of just showing you. I don't know what paint they use differently, but for some reason this was reflecting different light than that. So anyway, I hope this gives you a, an idea of what an infrared filter looks like on a Sony Alpha A77. So I'll try to take some more pictures in the future that are a little bit better and give you some more examples. All right, thanks. Bye.